Good boy, Goofy Raccoon here. You guys seen in the video from before. And we'll try our best to give advice. I already gave some advice earlier. I was watching our matches, or my matches on uh, my Geef versus Kimberly. But I think that's not the best representation because Geef claps Kimberly. And, but more or less, he had an idea of how most Kimberly players play so you can get a visual. But not while they actually looking directly at their matches. And I picked the ones that I think best suit what the situation is. Because obviously, I want to see how he does when he does beat a character that I think, I don't know, I think this might be slightly in Jamie's favor, maybe even. And I was curious, like, wait, why, why is he losing to Mercer? I mean, this is good too, because I don't see enough Kimberly. And more importantly, like, he should not be losing to Lily. Lily's the worst character, so that one, I only need to put one. And then I'm just going to break down every single thing you could have done to just beat her. Like, but let's go and, well, like, we're going to go from an order from the the oldest to the newest because then you can see we can see if there is some progress there or not right it's a good representation so this might be a long video by the way no don't hide show everything oh he did so that jamie could have converted from that that was his mistake oh you let him drink oh, that doesn't... oh. so yeah the first thing you want to do is don't let it's okay i'm impressed you've got that you don't want to let jamie drink actually as a kimberly player in neutral you always want to be in a distance where you can immediately run to them and punish. So that's your first mistake. That's a good, not good idea with the thing. No pressure. No, not bad. Oh, he oh nice. He knows a combo off of it. Oh, yeah, Jamie's doing a great idea by keeping... See? So what he was doing was good. That Jamie did a good idea. You want, you want to be right... If you do not have good pressure, you want to be at the distance where all the buttons that your opponent has will whiff. And if they try to jump, they still have their back against the corner. That Jamie did a great job. Oh, just... Great thing. See, this Jamie's actually doing some good stuff. I'm surprised he didn't confirm that. See, he got the knockdown. He immediately jumped in to get the pressure. If Kimberly tried to do DP, he'll recover in time. He'll block, and she'll just do DP and completely whiff. But so he didn't miss it. Got nice. Drink Rekka. He tried to go for the command grab. Jamie's mistake is he did not establish pressure. Because as we notice now, what his mistake is, we haven't seen him actually completely block. We've either seen him try to jump, press a button, or move forward. We haven't established that he's willing to block. So that was Jamie's mistake is he tried to force the read. He, he assumed that Kimberly Raccoon. was going to keep blocking. I just remembered I dropped many combos here. What I want to stress is, I'll say this right now, combos are not the most important thing. Like, for obviously for anybody is... Like I said, it, if you're going to press buttons, make sure the buttons you know that you're actually trying to do something. Like, this Jamie, obviously, like the thing he did, he's just doing it, right? His mistake is he needs to learn how to combo off of it, right? That's his mistake. But dropping combos is one thing, right? Ooh, not bad. See? Ooh, okay. So that was a decent string. I like what he did. You want to do that if you know the Jamie player is going to press a button. Because right there, see, look, negative 10 plus 10. That is a free... Like, that. when you do those those sweeps, they're negative 10, as we see. That is enough time for someone else to sweep you back. I think that's tip distance. That normally is good against most of the cast. If they try to... If they press a button, boom, you get a knockdown. You can do your pressure. Most people can't reach that. Jamie can. That's why it's important you know... Like that string you would normally do, you shouldn't do that against Jamie. If Jamie, if my guess is correct, Jamie should punish that and get a drink with sweep heavy. He did nothing. So that is the problem in this matchup. He made a mistake. He did not recognize that mistake. That is, so you get what I'm saying? It's, it's funny things like that. Again, as I mentioned, but now this time, okay, at least he got a driver. Tip. Got a jump. Tip. So not bad. He didn't get the punish because he was too far, but he made the right decision and pressured on because Jamie can't do anything after a drink. Oh, nice. Gets his mix. Not oh, not not a bad idea to drive rush cancel from from the button. But I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of drive rush because look at look at her. She was at six. She's now at three, and she has her back against the quarter. Look, it's not bad if you want to keep pressuring, but I recommend if you're gonna drive rush, do fresh drive rush. Never do it from your normals. It's too high risk. Same with the low DP. Not a bad. See, it's good to neutral jump against Jamie because his DP is not great. Any other situation, if she did that like against Luke Ryu, boom, sure you can would have hit her. Good idea to use drive impact. What you could have done there, this is what I recommend. He could have bat punish opportunity. He's sitting on level three. You could have just level three. Don't overcomplicate it sometimes. I do it myself. Instead of, oh man, a combo I don't practice enough or I'm not feeling confident. Just do raw level three. Does the most damage. You gain the most drive gauge back. It's the easiest to do. So again, he did okay. He dropped the combo, obviously. Instead of having overload your mind, it's a lot. Just do straight raw super. There is nothing wrong with doing your heavy punch and then super or just raw super if you're not feeling confident. Also, he's plus 11 in this situation. Let's see what he does with it. Okay, neutral jump, not bad. It's an okay decision making. Ah, okay, that was a good sequence right there. I like that. Oh, he didn't combo. He went for a reset. It. That was 
I wish I could go back, but when you have a full stun, he should have jumped up, done heavy, down heavy, quarter circle, simple basic combo. That's for everybody, dude. Your jump heavy, down heavy, and then cancel it into your basic bread and butter combo. But he went for a reset, even though it was a guaranteed combo. See, so like right now, he could have been killed. He could have been killed if he either, like I said, look at those two huge mistakes. He has full gauge, nothing stopping him from grabbing Kimberly, putting him in the corner, pressing a button, drive impact, she stun. He does a full combo, CA, she dies. Let that sink in. Two very easy, big mistakes he made. S small when it seems in the scheme of things, but in the larger things, could have easily cost him. But he made a mistake. Like, clearly this Jamie player, like, it's, it, he's in the win. Also, when Jamie does his standing medium, he's plus, by the way. I, can't remember, so I hate that about Jamie. See, it's just what I'm talking about. He's going to get burnt out. It's almost like Clockwork. And he has full meter. He gets the driver. See, oh, he... What did I say? What did I just say, guys? Look at that. It's it's almost like I know what I'm talking about. And he dropped... He did the same mistake. Or maybe he dropped the combo because the game's bullshit. Look, at, he he almost lost that thing because of two very critical mistakes. Don't overcomplicate it. Just waste your meter. Go for the full combo. Don't don't go for a reset when you have a guaranteed combo. But maybe he did it preemptively. He, he my biggest thing is he probably didn't notice that he was spun out. And it's hard. I get it at lower levels. It's harder to notice. You know. So fair enough. Just make sure you guys recognize when they're driving as well. You don't have to always stare at it. Make sure, I'm not gonna repeat it. Same thing. Is careful about the sweep. There was no need for the sweep. He was negative ten. Walked up. Grab. Again with the drink. I mean, I get why you do two jump, but against Jamie, you wanna be on the ground. Now he does it. There it is. He recognized it. Free drink, and he gets a driver. Don't find it. Good job. Yeah. When Jamie does that, see. Oh, good. Good decision making here, right? Nice. Okay, jump. Full funny. Again, another reason why I don't recommend canceling from normals. You could drop the combo and you only get so much. You waste drive three bars. Like, I only recommend you do it if you have level 3 CA. Yep. That's my honest opinion, because then you're just going to get the meter back. Ooh. Ooh, nice combo. Actually, that was your turn there. Your, your, your mistake there is not pressuring when it's negative. Oh, I haven't seen you doing that move enough. See, and now he finally interrupted. He finally interrupted it after medium. Jamie's burnt out, though. Right now, he should be pressuring because he can get tipped out. Yeah, and you know the biggest problem I'm seeing is he's not pressuring enough. He's only pressuring off of the enemy, which is not bad. Ooh, nice confirmed, though. Well, that was close. Now, he did a great job with that. But 100% dude, he could have easily lost that match if he won before. Like, basically, he got lucky that was a scramble. And the Jamie did also do the things that cost him the match as well. See, he tried to punish it. He was too late on the punish. Nice. So, he, see, it, I'm seeing the same problem where both of them are too focused on knowing combos and not situations. Again, why I always stress, learn the neutral, learn punishments far before combos, bro. Far before. Like, Luke's the only character right now, my main, that I know full combos for. I do not know the most optimal or full combos for any of my other characters. And I'm pretty much diamond one. So let that be a stress of how important combos are. Because the, the mistakes you make are what cost you. Now, doing, I do recommend you guys learn how to do that. Find a cancelable normal and then do drive impact. Because you could do shit like this. Look at that. Simple. Something super simple. Anyone can do down medium into impact into CA. It's super simple. And you know how to combo. Again, another mistake this Jamie is why do you know an actual optimal combo off of that? Like that. You're not going to get that all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is probably going to be the only time he's ever going to do it. Why would you learn something that you're going to use 1% of the time when you should be learning things that happen to every single time? What he should have been practicing is learning how to punish against sweeps. That's his biggest mistake. And again, he does the same. See, look at that. Look how efficient it is to cancel the drive impact. He's got that down. Oh, he's going to kill. He's going to kill. He's going to kill. On the bright side, the biggest thing these dudes have is they know how to fucking combo into level 3. Oh my god, that is interesting. How did they not kill? That could have cost him the match. Look at that. So, biggest mistake is careful with this dude, brother. You, you could have. This Jamie, if he knew how to sweep punish you, you probably never would have won. So, his biggest mistake is he didn't know punish your sweep. I, I feel like it's going to be a trend here. So, yeah, biggest mistake 100% I got to say is careful with this dude, brother. Real careful with this dude. But good job on confirming into your big combos. Like, that's your biggest strength for sure. Again, same mistake I mentioned before. Okay, see, look, there you go. You want to do light, light. See, did I hit? 
And his mistake is not punished. See, look, you're negative six. Okay, now he punishes. Ooh, nice job. Mistake you're doing when anyone drive rushes and they press a button, it's not your turn. Assume it is always their turn. Your mistake there is you did not respect her. Gonna do it again. Not your turn. Ooh. Nice job. Good job on that. So, and what's good is you know what to do after that. So I would recommend is knowing how to confirm into that normal because you very clearly know how to combo off. Ah, that one's fair enough. You think you, you were late on the jump. You had the right idea with the jump. I like, if you're creating space, you should be looking to punish. Yeah, Mercy's gonna win. Oh, you're gonna get the corner dude. Just me. Again, you saw that green kick. You should have just blocked. You should have just blocked. That's plus two. She hits you with the uh, Yeah, that, you have to guess there. Like, just don't. You do Marissa. never want to be against the corner of Marissa. Marissa's one of the strongest characters against the corner. So just know, like, fuck it, I can. So in that situation, just, uh, are you in the corner? Well, you lost against Marissa. I feel like the biggest reason you're going to lose, I, I'm calling it, is you're not respecting drive rush. And everybody, this is to everybody. I don't care who you are. Someone drive rush presses a button, it's their turn, just block. They can't do anything after it. Yeah, so you just have to block it. Ah, interesting. So what did they do? They obviously tried being cheeky. They matched. Jab's not a bad idea if you want to challenge them. The problem why he won that situation, even though I mentioned, she pressed her past this button. Marissa tried doing something cheeky. She should have just gone with the button that she did before, which is medium punch. It would have beat her jab. So see, you get what I'm saying? If you if you see raccoon, yeah, I don't know much about frame advantages. And that's fine. That's fine. A lot of people don't. But all you need to know, you guys don't need to know the numbers. But what you need to know is there are three straights: safe, punishable. And then just, oh, is it my turn? You know, you need to know when it is and isn't your turn. That's what I need to specify, you know? When it is and isn't your turn. You can steal turns for sure, like you did that earlier. That, that wasn't your turn. That wasn't not your turn. There's a punish. There's either it's my turn, her turn, or punish. Like, that was a punish. Nice. What did you do? Drive rush. Yeah, you should, you need to learn to do that. Drive rush with the button. Super strong, bro. That was, again, also not your turn. So I'm going to start referring to them as that now. Punish, your turn, my turn. And that's when you got to realize if it's... Best way to put it... If it's your turn, that means you can press buttons. If it's not your turn, you can't press buttons. If it's punish, they should be comboing you or something. If you happen to hit them, they just 100% fucked up. They got... Like, you got lucky. That's the best way to put it. They should be comboing you. Oh, you're dead. Ooh, you got off the corner. Nice. I don't know what the situation is. So it was your turn. You have to wait for the screen to end. No, you didn't. Next replay. Fuck the loss of the worst character in this game. I don't give a fuck if you're a diamond. That character's free, dude. I clapped the fucking master rank Lily. I'm like, this character's only one. By the way, just so you guys know, that bitch is mad weak to drive impact. Her distance, you see right here? You see where that black line is? That is Lily's range. You jumping in on her is a bitch. And if she starts pressing buttons, just, just keep blocking until you're out of sight. There it goes, right? This is her game. You lost that interaction. She's gonna punish. Look at that. See, okay, past that, Lily can't do anything. She cannot do anything. In that range, bro, don't challenge her. That's the best way I could say. Yep, see, no, even when she does that, like, you see her heavy? That's why she'll just cancel into that. Nope, just walk back. Your best thing to do is walk back and block. She doesn't, okay, whatever, you're good. And try to get the health lead and then just stay away with her. Stay away from her. Don't jump in on her. Like, the main thing she has is here's a really strong defense right in front of her, but outside of that, she's ass. Like, that shit, that win shit. Yeah, when she does that win stuff, you can punish it. Yeah, you want to either rush her from the start or play passive and wait for her to make a mistake. Oh, right there, you could have punished that. Oh, he was cheeky. Oh, weak to jumping. Now that you know you can punish it, you should not be using it anymore. There he goes, the spiral out. He gets a free mix from it. Don't let her chip in on you either. Like, don't worry about what's in front of you. When she enters strings, just look at the sky. Or if she does spiral. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, this, I think at the end of the day, the main reason you lost. But let's see how it does. I want to see more familiar with. I want to see it. This is a matchup that Kimberly should be playing. Jump back. He jumps in. See, yeah, you're definitely jumping way too much for sure. Way too much. You, also, you shouldn't be giving JP distance. That is a huge mistake. Teleport is good. You can do that. I want you to do. Ooh, he jabbed. That was smart. He... He, he challenged, like, oh, you know what? I think he's not going to do something after this. I'm just going to jab. Good idea. JP. Super safe string. I like that. See, he's being, see, look, the green stuff, rush, he's blocking. So really good what they're doing right now. But he kept, he doesn't respect the turn. Right now, it is your turn. JP should be blocking. What does he do? He did not respect you. That's still your turn. 
that he should have punished that. See, another huge mistake. You got all, you can't. Every time someone does a sweep, he just doesn't know. So now he knows that in this matchup, I won't repeat punishing sweeps because he clearly his opponent doesn't know that he can. I think he's doing a good job. JP's problem is he shouldn't be jumping in. He, actually, as a JP player, you should not be jumping at all unless someone's coming to you. JP should have kept going the offense pressure with his zoning. That's his mistake. But Kimberly can do that. So you, that, you should be abusing that against JP. So that's very good. Nice, good juice with the jabs. Oh, I could have punished that. See, okay, so obviously, they also don't know about the punishment. Oh, he accidentally taunted. You can see his button, but I don't know how they have their button scheme set up. But that's a fucking hole. See, he's doing those light jabs. What JP, what JP needs to do is learn how to do jab, jab. Did I hit? Quarter circle. Send him full screen. Start zoning. That's what he needs, and he'll do a lot better. Nice. Yeah, he's really he's really good at doing the strings. Yeah, there's too much jumping around for both of them. Oh, he knows how to combo. Yep. See, I'm noticing a, flat, uh, a trend with these lower level platinum players that they definitely, uh, they know how to do combos, but they, re and they know how to confirm themselves but they really need to work knowing what is and isn't punishable and when it is and isn't their turn. That seems to be the biggest mistake I see here. Very good. Round two. Fight. No wonder I got all the way out of the fucking diamond. Nice. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he does, he does now. Nice. Yeah, doing, see that great? Okay, this sequence of events is JP playing solid. It's your turn. Nice. Sends him in the corner. Not a bad idea with the grab. Oh, see, okay, your spacing is amazing. That, that right here, you guys are playing really fucking good. Like, this is clean. Like, this is really clean. Now, yeah, see that jump in? It was good. Like, this right now, this this right now is some good ass but uh, This is clean. Mm, okay, you know, I, I like that. He immediately realized it wasn't my turn. I'm just gonna block. I'm, yep, look at that. He, amazing. I also like that you're being patient. Ah, oh, there you go. That's a punish right there. Ooh, just yellow sweep. Like, and again, same mistake. He, he's gonna keep getting away with it. Cause, and it's funny, both don't know that sweep is punishable. Nice. He could have got a better combo, but. Okay, he could have gotten a better combo, but I like that he went with that he's comfortable. Don't be afraid to do combos that you're comfortable with. I'd rather you more consistently always punish an opponent than try to go for the fancy combo. That matters way more. I like that he did that. He could have done something better. I mean, in this case, he made a mistake. He could have just super. You can always punish supers with the mo you're either a sweep, a heavy, best combo, or another super. But I like that he went with that he was comfortable with. That's the big strength that he has. So he can always do what he's comfortable with and then do better combos. But he also needs the same thing that our good boy here is. If you know you have bars of meter and it's a full, just, just do super. Just do super. So again, I have praised him for what he did, but he could obviously do better by one simple thing. You should have just super. I think that JP right now has a lot of good fundamentals. Like, he just needs to stop jumping as well. Yeah, there's too much jump back. As a Kimberly player, you're allowed to jump, but jumping back is... I only recommend jumping back like it, like in, when you're in their face, that's it. And maybe, but like... You know, right now, when they're doing the drivers, they're purely going off of what they feel at the moment in memory. They're not hit confirming. Yeah, see, like he... That right there was a missed combo. If you're gonna... See, you know what I'm saying? I want you guys to do stuff and do it with intention. Don't just do it for the fuck of it. Because there's a lot of missed opportunities that's happening. Great reaction on that one. That was actually really good. He needs to do it when he's doing something. And I like that he's anticipating it. That's super fucking good. Like, I honestly really like the fundamentals. Like, the, the fundamentals of the JP is really fucking solid. Like, I really like that. He's got it in the right place. But you're really good. I, I think part of the reason you got a bad jump habit is probably because you're always facing it right. And jumping against JP is good. Just JP is such a new jumping on the Ooh, see, again, that mistake wouldn't have happened if he visually hit confirmed. He, every time you're drive rushing, you're just doing it and hoping for the best. And you don't you want to do that with a mechanic that wastes three freaking bars because the thing you'll notice jp didn't get burned out once i think it's causing you the burnout but regardless there's obviously a lot of good things you're doing like see you're the way you're walking you're walking okay i don't i don't like trying to punish that i like that full screen he knows i should just be blocking super good that's a very good attitude see i gotta point out the strengths and the weaknesses here, right it's like oh what you're doing good keep doing that what you're doing bad stop doing that right go Stop making mistakes, focus on your strengths, oh, and you'll be more consistent. That's the best that's the best advice you can do. Nice! See, like, right now, the neutral's playing, like... It's, but what's no, weird is your guys' corner pressure is really fucking solid. That's just funny. Don't let me fair that Street Fighter 6 getting corner pressure is the hardest thing in the world. Okay, I like that you didn't commit to a hit. That was fun. Because you see me punish... See, like, right now, how you're moving, that's amazing. That's good. Yeah, JP has a bigger jumping problem than you do, in my opinion. Nice, see that? Yeah, it's See, that's when you should be doing when you did heavy, heavy. Ah, oh, I very clearly hit. Let me combo from you. And again, that's why I mentioned like too many people are focused on this stuff. But how frequently do we see these? 
You don't. I see far more mistakes in the neutral than anything. I'll never, I'll always die in the hell. Learn neutral, learn punishment, learn Okazemi way before you learn combos, you guys. Combos are not everything. Oh, but I see the pro players do all the time. Yeah, because they're everything, they did everything else before they did combos. Like I said, I'm diamond one with my geek, and I don't know no crazy dang combos with that motherfucker. It's just trade neutral, bro. Nooch! Nooch! Oh, Granted, I'm a grapple. You don't need combos for my phone stand. That was your turn. It was on him. That, that was a, that was. See, like, how you did that? That's when you want to do that, driver. That's a good idea. Round two. When you want to do it for pressuring. Ooh, nice. Good call out. There you go. See, that's a confirm. That's what I want to see you do more of. At least you guys know how to like confirm. That's super important. I also like that you buffered it. Like, I, some people seen a lot of inputs and it's unnecessary. Ooh. Should look at meter, but not bad. I don't blame you for pressuring. Now, right now, you can just teleport. I was ready to teleport to him out. That's punished. He was negative eight. That was See, okay, so you had the idea to teleport. I like that JP's not giving up. That's fine. But he's still playing the same way. He's not playing conservative. Oh, fuck. And he dropped the combo. That was nice. Yeah, but those are my thoughts. So, yeah, definitely biggest thing is stop using sweep. You jump too much. Those are your two biggest mistakes. Get more consistent with your confirms. And I guess the biggest thing is learn to block a lot more. Remember, when they drive rush and press a button, assume it's their turn. You want to walk. That's when you want to jump back. Jump back when you think they might press a button that's too slow or just simply walk back. Pay attention. Are they using lows a lot? Walk back. Are they using lows a lot? Like, are they actually using? Then you go low block and they stop doing the pressure. Just start walking back. Wait. Are they making a mistake? Rush them down. Teleport. Like I said, with JP, do it when he makes mistakes. Everybody else, just do it because why the fuck not? Also, you should be using your, your down medium kick. That slide kick that Kimberly has is super good. Use it at a distance where none of their buttons can reach. You want to use it when they press a button, boom, sweep, and then learn a pressure. When you're right next to them, as a Kimberly player, that's when you want to do the run. But of course, I'm pretty sure you know people can wake up DP. So part of the thing is run, block, bait DP, they'll, then you'll punish, and then do the combo that you like to do all the time. But those are my biggest recommendations on how to improve the base.